Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with your favorite thing ever, a Ben's haul. That's right. Everybody loves a good Goodwill Ben's haul. We have a good one for you. Yeah, we do. So let me explain if you're new here. Hi. Hey. We have a good Ben's in Dallas now. Woo! And this is actually two trips combined into one mm -hmm. in all transparency. And what we do is we go buy everything we think is good and we don't have service in there <laughs> <laughs> so we use our best instincts and judgments and then we come home and we comp everything when we comp we look at solds on ebay and then we make a draft which is super helpful when listing yep. we're about to go out of town and this is the best method we've ever found for like getting some drafts done it takes a little effort on the front end but on the back end is really really quick to list yep. and we can do that when we're out of town because we'll have photos already yes. we'll just take the float photos drop them into the drafts on the airplane <sighs> amazing yes okay so uh this is the best stuff that we found or the most okay mm -hmm. best stuff is not not so much the most listable stuff there the stuff with the sell through that was moving if it didn't have a sell through or if we found a flaw put it right back into this big Ikea bag behind the camera and we're going to donate it right on back. Yes, we are. Boom. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah. We also only have 30 minutes. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. We have to do our live stream in 30 <laughs> minutes. This is what happens. Okay. I'm going to okay. start with this. I'm going to start with this. You get that. You get that stuff. These are some pillow shams. I knew that these were good because they were made of bamboo. Bamboo is super trendy in the linen section. If you're at the bins, don't forget about the linens. These are Casa Luna. They're two brand new looking pillow shams they i believe the comp was 25 bucks nice. i'm here for this because it's a quick list quick 25 bucks sold out the door bye this is a vintage super thrashed carhartt coverall i was so excited to find this you found this on our way out the door you were like wait i gotta grab this like it's got paint all over it there's like a couple of there's a hole in it the cuffs are shredded yeah uh this thing is going to probably beat the comps i'm going to list this thing out like 100 bucks yeah and somebody had put this back so <laughs> when you're going to the registry bins look at the goodwill bins is like an outlet and they roll out things in these big blue bins which is why we call it the bins and they, we pay by the pound i should tell you that our poundage mm -mm. is a dollar 49 once you get over 25 pounds which we don't have a problem doing okay Not even a little. so we're gonna do one part of this haul for you and then we're gonna do another part next week because it is so big but anyway when you're checking out look at the stuff that people are putting back because somebody put that back probably because it was in too bad of condition yeah but the worse a car hard is the better it sells this is true Boom. like our friend melissa says just run it over with your car <laughs> okay. this is a great find too this is a made in the usa levi's white denim uh, Sherpa jacket. Boom. Great. Fully lined. I don't know how vintage it is. I guess I could research that, but it definitely is made in the USA. It is definitely mildly thrashed. Yeah, mildly. Yeah. It's so, kinda, yeah, we it's might soak it and try to get it better, but it, we might not. We might just list it because it's part of the charm. Exactly. All yeah. right. Because it takes years of abuse to get it to look this way. <laughs> Next is this plush that Dan found. We pick up everything at the bins. We're not just like one trick ponies. Mm -hmm. This is Old Wolf from Mary Meyer. I don't know, 20 bucks. Yeah. But listable, they some, were selling. Some Mary Meyer is better than others, but... Eh. I need a bat. Here, where's that Postmates bag? Can you hear We also get bags at the bins. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> so I can put my hard goods in it so there we can list go. them. There you go. We're just going to continue. Okay, and I'll do the, hard goods. Down the rack. All right, this is a pair oh, of... I got these. Yep, new with tags, Urban Outfitters. Where is, there's the tag. They're right knit there. bell bottom pants. Look at these things. I have a hard yeah. time leaving anything new with tags at the bins because it goes to the dumpster after that. Yep. Yeah. And so new with tag stuff, I normally pick it up if I know it can sell. And these are going to be great. These are trendy and they're new with tags. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Yeah. All right. This is spiritual gangster. Many stains. It does oh, have some stains. I will try to remove those. Yes. Uh, Spirits or Gangster used to do a lot better than it does now, but for our cost of goods for all of this, we just figured it out it was $1.67. So for that, I will try to get the stain out. Yeah, right. Especially, I think the comp was like 30-ish. Okay, while well, you're getting the next one, I'm going to do these. Okay. Look at these baby pants. 
<laughs> These are herringbone tweed pants from Janie and Jack. If you're into selling kids' clothes or if you want to get into it, this is a good brand to sell. Uh, yes, it is. I think these will sell for about 20 we'll pop, we'll pop all the comps up for you. They're 2T. They're so cute. I couldn't leave them behind. Could not do it. Same with this. I couldn't leave this behind. <laughs> Tell us all about it. This is just a super cool, it's like a sport coat, but it has a removable little quilted extra insert. Cool. It's from my friend Hugo Boss. Come on in with that label because this is a good Boss cool. label. Yeah. There you go. Um, and it has, recent one. what else does it say? Regular fit, finest Italian fabric. And this is a patch pocket. People yeah. ask me about this a lot. So a patch pocket is just when the pocket is like taken and sewn on top of the jacket. It's not buried inside. This, this piece of fabric is sewn right here. That's a patch pocket. It's a little bit more of a casual vibe. Yeah. This is cool because it's like unlined except, you know, for the little I love that. addition part. And what size? Do you remember Doesn't what the matter? comp? 44 regular. Uh, I think there was one, I found one listed for like 200 bucks. Nice! It wasn't anything sold, so I'm hoping to get like, I don't know, over 100 out and of it. And just so you know, Dan's MO at the bins, he goes through all the bins that have already gone through. He doesn't <laughs> like the, everybody rushes to new bins and he's I like, I don't get in there. No. no. And so he just goes through the dregs of everything <laughs> that's left and he finds this stuff. It's incredible that people just like leave it. It's incredible. I will show you this. This is actually pretty good. This is a dish towel. I know, but it's new with tags. And it says, may your days be filled with laughter, friendship, and love. Oh. Anyway, I think you can get like 20 for it. It's from <clears> a brand <throat> called Natural Life. I like to buy new with tags, things at the bins. I just said that, but also for Q4, for gifts. Gifts. Okay. Gifts this could assist. be a gift, right? <laughs> Any of this could be a gift. <laughs> this is a uh, size 2X Disney pajama pants, pajama like jogger pants. Uh, with Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. We do so well with plus size Disney Stitch pants. I, I know that's very specific. It is very specific. But like, this is maybe the third time we've listed something like this and they sell so fast. Yeah. So even if it's not going to sell for a lot, we know from experience that those are going to flip. Yeah. Just like this. Not for a lot of money, but it's going to go quick. Is a Figs scrub top. I need to wash this. Uh, I mean, it does have a little issue right there. I don't know what that is. It's we'll just not, mark it down. It's not a hole, but it was like, I don't know, a snag or something. Snag nab it. Love finding figs. Okay. Um, I found three more ornaments. I said the word, yes. Yes! These are the Easter keepsake ornaments. I keep finding these and they keep selling, so I keep buying them. There's three of them. And they're from 1993. If you can find these Hallmark keepsakes in the box, they do sell for around $10 plus shipping. Mm. Uh, Love it. Right? All right. This is a video game thing call of duty two. nerd nerd hey, alert shut up no no it's nerd. good nerd, nerd stuff sells nerd stuff sells i didn't mean that in a mean way and i didn't mean what i said in a mean way that just came out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> call of duty black ops 2 uh hoodie it's got the anchored skull well, on that the guy back. looks mean i know right all the sold comps i found just had the uh the logo across the back oh special so i don't know if this one is more or less desirable but i'm gonna try to get like 25 30 bucks out of it noise noise all right let me do one let me do one all right y'all i can't leave this vintage stuff i can't leave it it just i can't look at this thing it's so cute mm. it's min mickey painting the rainbow ah oh, before skittles you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying <laughs> anyway i think i can get like 10 bucks for this and it didn't go to the dumpster excellent i already made a, a draft for it i love it okay i next. was very very much surprised by this thing this is a Oscar de la Renta. It needs to be steamed. Like, what? Yeah, very cropped, three-quarter sleeve, silk and cashmere blend cardigan. Yes. I found two comps for like $80 to $100. That's great. So the Made in Italy, bring that in. Oscar de la Renta is now sold at some department stores for not a lot of money. It's gone through a little bit of a change. But this older tag with the Made in Italy is what you're looking for. And it has cashmere. So those are some clues. Yeah. When we it's, can't comp that we use to think maybe this is good. Yeah, it's 70 cashmere, 30 silk. Yeah. 
And we always check for holes on cashmere. But we buy cashmere at the bins quite a lot, actually. Bins cash. We call it bins cash. <laughs> okay, this next baby blanket is another vintage item. And we have since started picking up these. This is from Kidget. Actually, this one's not vintage. I have another one over there. This is not. Kidget's. But what you're looking for, it doesn't matter. The brand doesn't matter. You're looking for this waffle knit with the um, satin trim. This is a sensory thing. Some kids, like, dig this satin. They okay. love it. And so these things sell really well, but make sure that you put that there's a satin trim. It really doesn't matter the brand. This Good is like their know. binky or their, you know, the little kid from Charlie Brown that brings his blanket around? Mm -hmm. Satin trim. I think we should be able to get like 20, 25 for Thanks. this little blanket. All right. This is a pair of men's diesel jeans. They're in oh, man. Those are great. Really good shape. I found comps varying from like 40 to 85 bucks I cool think. so I'm, I'm hoping to get like maybe 50. nice and so i'll just bring it in really like vintage huh men's diesel jeans do better for us than women's yeah for sure yeah. diesel anything i don't know if I, what a, mm, I definitely don't have a draft for those okay i did make a draft for this thing though even though it's not worth a lot as much, it needs the, it needs the oh most, my gosh some dog like went crazy some dog loved it it was a lap or something we yeah. oh let me ask somebody's gonna answer ask the question we don't wash our bin stuff we put it in a heater at 160 degrees for four hours mm -hmm. so it kills all the bacteria and bugs yeah. ew ew this is a wool pencil skirt from prada that i found oh bring the in the label the people love to see a label uh -oh. and this was in a bin that had been picked through i'm assuming yeah, I think this was actually sitting on top. Prada. There you go. It does have a couple of issues on the back that I didn't notice until I, you know, oh, was hanging, hanging it up. But it's not severe. It's still wearable. So I think it's still wearable. And, I mean, the comps weren't as good as I thought they were going to be either. Yeah. So. Prada and Dolce & Gabbana are on another level. They're lower level. In my opinion, they're a lower level. We don't sell luxury goods a lot, so take it with a grain of salt. Gucci. Now, Gucci. I never look up a Gucci and I'm disappointed. Prada and Dolce & Gabbana, sometimes I'm like, because mm. eh. you just assume they're worth so much. Yeah. Gucci, on the other hand, yeah. never disappoints. No. Even if it's flawed, doesn't disappoint. Are you going? Okay, I'm going to do I'm, this next. Okay. This is a Paramore t-shirt. It's, it's got a sunflower design on it. I looked it up. It's apparently a limited release. Oh! I found uh, sold comps on Poshmark, not on eBay. Cool. Um, I so think, it's a younger... Yeah. But even on eBay, Paramore shirts in general were selling <clears throat> like 30 35 bucks. We look up Paramore if you're not in like like My Chemical Romance, <clears throat> Coheed and Cam those kind Coheed and Cambria, those kind of bands do really, really well right now. I don't know why. Maybe Y2K. Okay, Maybe. here's a bunch of bibs. I Bits. couldn't leave them, <laughs> so I'm going to lot them all up. I have to show you. Look at this little Mickey and Donald. Oh, my God. Elmo, look at this. Hoop star. <laughs> Thursday, I don't know. Mickey and Minnie with apples. Rabbit. Something. <laughs> and then remember these? The ones with like a little pocket where you okay. can keep your snacks. Uh-oh, snack pocket. <laughs> and I went to Arzara's Kid. Oh, nice. All right, nice so I'm going to... I have found another listing of a lot of these, and it's listed at 25, which I think I'll list mine at as well. They're so lightweight. So even at 25, mm. I saved these from the landfill, and uh, somebody will love them. Yes. Speaking of somebody will love it, this is a vintage Tommy Bahama. Uh-oh. We love vintage Tommy. There you go. The women's stuff does really well for us. Look at that. It's all silk, huh? All silk flower print skirt. That's yep. really beautiful, actually. Right? Wow. Somebody, somebody might have a matching shirt to this out there somewhere. You never know. No, I think that's going to go fast. <laughs> that's really, really beautiful. Um, I don't know if I have a draft for that. I think I do. <laughs> so we split this up is, the goods. Hold on. Like, let me tell them. Let me tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We split up the goods in Ikea bags, and Dan sits at his computer to draft, and I sit at mine. So we, we don't know what the other one has. No. And it's been a while. We went to the bins when our power was out. So it's been like two, at least two weeks. Super ugly, right? Ricky Freeman, Ricky. baby. 
Ricky Freeman. Not Hickey, for... <laughs> Rick. These buttons, though. I know. I just something. They're like in an unfortunate placement, though. Heather. They are kind of, but it's like it's one hundred percent silk and it's like quilted and and cropped and cropped it's and got buttons. It's vintage. I don't know Barbara how old Bush this thing love is. These buttons. Hey, you are absolutely right about Whoa. that. Whoa. Um. I don't know what you're going to do with this. Honey. I don't either. But... Okay. He got it though. He, he saved it. this gem. Saved it. <laughs> okay, we also have these. Uh, we get a lot of travel stuff at our bins. I don't know if you guys do too. These are travel towels and it's a set of them. And there was a new set listed. These look new to me because mm -hmm. I don't know who could have put them back in here this perfectly. <laughs> so these are going to be a new without box. And there was one listed for 45. I think I listed ours at 40. Sweet. Yes. Okay, this is uh, maybe 20, 25 bucks. It's an Under Armour uh, U.S. Olympic team uh, bomber jacket. That's cool. Yeah. Didn't go to the landfill. Didn't go to the landfill. And when we say that, <clears throat> we mean it because Dan's going through the bins that are really about to go to the landfill. Yep. Uh, newest tags. I don't know why I picked up all the baby stuff. I must have hit the baby bin. Baby bin. I don't even have a baby. I don't even know what this is. Halo sleep sack swaddle. It looks comfortable. I mean, I could probably get down with that. <laughs> anyway, it's new in the package. And it's for a newborn, and I listed it for twenty dollars. Great. Um, this is a pair of these are Patagonias, right? Yeah. yeah. Patagonia extra large Whoa. Oh. fleece, um, mid layer, base layer, something. Yeah. I don't know. So I think about thirty bucks for these, something like we that. We found a couple of Patagonias this time. Yeah, I thought in, we found kids ones too. I thought, but these are not. Yeah, the kids I have ones. some in the other in the other part of the hall. There's some more Patagonia, and normally because we live in Dallas, there's not a lot of Patagonia to yeah. be honest to go around. Here's a lovey. <clears throat> I pick up every single lovey. This one says, my best friend. Aww. So cute. And I think I listed him for 25 okay. based on comps. He's All an right. elephant. I found a sold comp for this guy. And I ah, found, it's my favorite. found the exact name of the print. This is uh, from J. Crew with the Liberty of London Summer Blossoms print. All right, bring that tag in so they can see it. J. Crew did a collab with Liberty of London and this stuff does really well for us yeah, when we can better. find it. You're gonna see a couple of collabs in this video. I hope you hope you learn something. It's really hard to see. It says J. Crew and then right here it says Liberty. Do you know how much of them's gonna go for about? Um the sold comp F I found was uh, <laughs> thirty-eight dollars, I believe. Okay, cool. I love it for a button down. Alright, this is a lid to a magnolite roaster pan now yes. we've sold many of these magnolites in our life and you would think why would you just buy a lid also it's heavy also 149 in the heavy weight of this lid i'm gonna tell you how much it weighs how much does it weigh three almost three pounds two and a half pounds two and a half pounds yep. so it costs like less than five bucks and it goes for 35 okay sold out the door and we don't have to mail the whole thing we just mail the lid perfect 35 Right. So between the swaddle, which was 20 and 35, that paid for one of our whole trips. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Look up the weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a spider cable knit uh, full zip cardigan jacket. Yeah, that's cool. Careful with this brand. But yeah. let's show them the tag. I don't like looking at that label. Oof. I got arachnophobia or something. Yeah, something. I do. <laughs> it made me feel all weird. Uh, this actual. brand is now sold I think it's a cost, at Costco. Costco, right? Yeah. So you got to be careful. Make sure to comp it. I mean, we don't at the bins because we don't have service there. Right. Like zero. We cannot comp anything unless we go outside, which is awkward. That is okay. This is a pair of DL nineteen sixty one women's jeans. They are the. I found a couple of sold comps. I don't remember what they were. What are these called? The Florence Insta Sculpt. Oh, so they're kind of like democracy. I bet they do well. Insta Sculpt means that they like hold you in. Yeah. Instantly. Um, and here's the sculpt you. Here's the, the tag there. That was a newer tag too. Yep. We love this brand. Dan wears their pants too. Is that what you're wearing now? What, what are you I'm wearing, wearing right sir? now? What are you wearing yes. on the red carpet? This is a purse. I always pick up this brand, Kipling. Mm -hmm. And it's even better when it has this guy. Yeah. It has it's like, like a little monkey. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, this is just a travel brand. It's really popular in Europe, and some people really, when we went on our cruise, they talk about it all the time. Mm -hmm. We were looking at everybody's digs, and these old ladies had their Kipling bags. So I started picking them up, and then they move. Yep. If you price them, if you price them right, it's just yeah. a nylon bag. It's washable. It needs to be washed, and I will wash it. <laughs> I'm looking in all the pockets like a heathen. Yeah, I know. What you doing? No, I do at the bins, though. You never know. Yeah. I found something weird in a bongo one time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Very strange. Okay, I got another Hugo Boss jacket. This Same one's... guy? No, I don't think so. This hmm. one's got epaulets. Yes. This one's really cool. And patch pockets. And patch pockets. It's unlined, so it's more of a summer jacket. It has a little bit of a little staining on the inside there. But other than that, pretty good shape. 42 regular. That's a great coat. Yeah, and I found a couple of sold comps for this exact one. So I think it's, I want to say somewhere between 50 and 75. That's fantastic. Turning a dollar 67. Yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. So a dollar 67 for this haul is going to make our second part of the haul free because we needed to get our cost of goods to list this stuff. So it's actually less than that. It's yeah, probably more like a dollar. There's another bag of stuff that we haven't even. When count, he says a yet. bag, it's three bags. <laughs> it's so cheap. Okay, this is a jelly cat. Yeah. He needs to be washed. Definitely. This is a lovey jelly cat. He's worth about $22. Sweet. Some jelly cats, the retired, very desirable ones, can be worth ridiculous amounts of money, especially the Fergus Frog. I know. Oh, if we could only like, find Fergus. Like six, seven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, this is a fox uh, faux fur lined hoodie jacket. Um, I found comps of this. Most hoodies from this brand were selling like fifty to sixty bucks. Bring in that logo for us. <gasps> Well, We're on the front of the jacket. Yeah, it's Fox Racing. It's like yeah, a it motocross this... racing brand. I used to work at PacSun and we sold this brand. Yeah, if you see it, look it up. We've had a couple that aren't good, but this one was really good. <clears throat> good meaning high resale value. Yeah. <clears throat> what is this? That's the... Oh, this is good. Show them though. This yeah. is a collab. I was talking to you guys about collabs. This um... is the H&M and Isabel Morant collab. Mm -hmm. And they go for a lot of money, like they really do, like one hundred fifty dollars. Yep. Come on in with it. Oh. So I don't even if it's H and M, I always look it up. Yep. It's like a little cropped pea coat, double busted. Yep. We got a lot of coats. A lot of coats. All right. You got a, a bra. I got a bra. <laughs> this is Soma. It's one of my favorite bras to sell. And the Soma has the uh, style written on it. Oh, that's helpful. Yes, this is a Soma uh, sudden, what's it called? Stunning Support Balconette Bra, 38 Triple D. Love go. it. This will flip within a week. Yep. Love, love, love. All right. I wish I could find more bras at the bins. I guess everybody else is picking them up. All right. We found Eileen Fisher at the bins. Eileen Fisher at the bins. Check this out. This thing's worth about a hundred bucks. Yes. You, the way you're holding it, you can't see the tag at all. Oh, sorry about it's that. It's okay. I'm just letting you know. Eileen Fisher, petite, small, somebody size. Uh oh. And it has patch pockets on the front. That's it an does. open front wool and cashmere, I believe. Wool, nylon, and cashmere. Yes. Wool and cashmere. So we call this a cashmere blend <laughs> to make it sound real fancy. Fancy. Uh, and this is a really cool collar because you can wear it standing tall or you can leave it open. Yep. It's a great piece because it's trans. I would use the keywords transitional piece because you could wear it between fall and winter or between summer and fall, depending on where you live. If you have a fall, if we don't. Have a fall. And then, Sorry. I'm going to skip some of this stuff and we'll do it in yeah, part two. Work. This I picked up out of instinct because it says snow skins and okay. it was made in the USA and it looked vintage to me. Probably a good instinct. All of these things were like, ding, 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 get this. Even though I don't do anything related to snow ever in my life, <laughs> um, it's actually worth about 40 or 50 bucks. Is it? Yep. Very nice. So I think it's like a layer that you wear like snow stuff on top. 
know. We don't know how to snow. Um, I got this because tie dye is does super well for us, and this is soft surroundings, which also does super well, and it's an extra large. Look how pretty. I mean, it needs to be steamed. Don't get me wrong, but this is a really good piece. I don't know what you're doing over here, but you're doing something. Uh, I forgot to schedule a live. So Can you do it? I'm doing it right now, yes. <laughs> this is a Roth, Roth, Rothschild. Rothschild. <laughs> it actually fits me. It's a gorgeous red uh, long coat for a little girl. Medium 10, 12. And y'all, should I keep this? Hold on. I don't know. I think you should keep it. No, seriously. No, seriously. If you wondered how small I am, now is your time to get to know. So this is made for a 10-year-old. It's fine. <laughs> but it's so cute. Like a little dress coat for the winter yeah, or for holiday fun. photos. Mm -hmm. Y'all, look at this. You should keep it. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? It's got pockets. Mm -mm. It's really nice. I think we are going to get about $70 for this. Awesome. If we sell it. If, if we it's sell it. It's a little tight. I could, I could have gone one more size. Could have gone up to the... <laughs> no, because the next one would have been 14, 14 16. 16. <laughs> 14, 16 is way too big for me, okay? Like, way too big. So what do 13-year-olds do? I'm the size of a 13-year-old. Oh, great. What do they do? I don't know. Well, Zara Kids has a 13, 14. It's perfect every time. And I had a 13, 14, and Dan baked it in the heater. <laughs> This is a by Anthropology top. I haven't been picking up Anthropology at the thrift. This does have some stains. I need to soak it. Um, but at the bins, all bets are off because yeah. we're only paying a dollar. Right. And it had good comps. It's a sleeveless tunic, Cute. sweater, layer thing. You could wear like your free people thermal under it and show your sleeves. Cute. All right, what else? Uh, let's get the good thing. These were actually good. I listed these for 50. I don't know what you were smoking. Okay. These are good. Okay. I got these because they said Hurley Pro. Mm -hmm. And Hurley does well for us in board shorts. You know, 20 bucks. Okay, they're like surfing shorts, right? These or are sh surfing compression shorts. Nice. So they hold you in. Uh-huh. So you don't fall out. And they're also... And they sun, are... Sun, they sun protecting. They are sun protecting up to like 100 yeah, something. Yeah, 100 plus. And they are an extra, extra large. And there was the new one sold, new tag sold for 79. There was okay. a sold comp. I didn't see that. I yeah, so okay. I don't know. He was about to ditch these. I said, no. <laughs> anyway, so I listed ours at 50. Very nice. Pretty stoked about that. Yeah. <clears throat> that was new with tags. We can show. I mean, okay. we can get through this stuff. All right. This is a new Tags Max Studio. This brand is sold at like TJ Maxx, but the tag says ninety eight dollars, and it's a cute little nautical coastal grandma. All the things. Oh, it's super trendy right now. Yeah, yeah. So, and these are the kind of dresses that you can travel really well with. I just got it. I don't know. Just I think we'll it. get like twenty five. Okay. It's new with Tags. Boom. This I did great. So I saw Simply. I mean, Comfort Colors, and then Simply Southern. I'm from the East Coast and the South, and I know about this. Dan was like, I never heard of this in my life. Nope. Well, if you're from the East Coast and the South, particularly like North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, you know about Comfort Colors, and you know about Simply Southern, but on my back, hey. blessed and soccer obsessed, <laughs> I was like, oh, somebody's going to want this, and Somebody they do. Is going to want that. Yeah, yeah, they go for 35 to 50 Sweet. For a t-shirt. Sweet. And this one looks like it's never even, like, the graphic is perfect. All right, what about these shorts? These are Trina Turk, oh. and I don't pick this up at regular thrifts normally. Right. However, these are really, really cute. As you can see, they're colorful and fun. And my cousin, I tell you guys all the time, in Atlanta has a boutique, and they sell Trina Turk. There is a market for it. You just got to price it correctly, and we are at the bins, and those probably weight-wise cost us 50 cents. This costs us nothing based on weight. I know. <laughs> Uh, I need to see in this big time. Yeah. This is, is this? only worth about twenty dollars. It's from Anthropology. It's the okay. Bland Florite. Mm -hmm. And I just love this color so much and it's a great layering piece. And I was hoping sometimes when we have a lot of good anthro in our eBay store or our Poshmark clots that people will bundle. And so this would be a nice piece. Because once you're paying shipping, it's nice to add some other pieces. Yeah. So it's a good piece to add. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is W5. They sell it at Revolve, I think. The brand isn't that important. The important part is that it's nautical and it's blue and white striped, yep. which we've been doing really well with. It has these great wooden buttons on the sides, and it's a 1X, and I love it. Love it. 
Love it. Right. Try to buy like cute plus size clothes because the market is barren. Sad. So anytime <laughs> I can find something plus size that's cute, I get it. Okay, continuing on. This is a really great brand called Sweaty Betty from London. Here, let's bring you in because there's a couple of things I want to show you. Okay. This is the logo that you see on the back, like where the Lululemon would be. It's very comparable to Lululemon. I don't know why we're so blown out, y'all. I don't, I don't, I have not, no, no answers. And then you can see all the information. Unlike Lululemon, uh -huh. they actually give you Sweaty Betty London. And then they give you the size and where it was made and the material and everything. How nice of them. Yeah, this was made in Portugal. It's a size small. And it's a really nice piece. So it sells for about the same as Lululemon. We should be able to get about 25 to 30 for that. Okay. This is a, another H &M collab. collab. We have two more for you. And then we're going to bring okay. you part two. This is Wooly Chen and H and M. Yeah, I couldn't read that. <laughs> really, really whimsical. These these are selling. Show them. You they didn't see. It's got bunnies and bears. It's a whimsical forest print. Oh my gosh, we're not in focus. Jumpsuit. So cute. <clears throat> and there was none listed in the size, so I'm really hopeful it'll sell quickly are for the back, fall. Are we back in focus? We're back in focus. Oh my god, it's it's go time. It's fine. Last piece. Last one. This one's a good one. It is. This is an L.L. Bean, what'd you call this, a chore jacket? I did. Yeah. It's flannel lined with corduroy collar and cuffs. Yes. We should be able to get between 75 and 100 for this. Excellent. Just sitting in a bin. Just sitting there. All right. So thank you guys yeah. for tuning in. We are going to be gone this weekend, so we hope you enjoy this video for your time to come. We will bring you part two when we are back next week. We're mm -hmm. going to New York City. We're very excited. Yes. yes and we, we have to jump off here because we're about to live list on our other channel, which we would love to have you join us over there. Yep. We're going to be there. We're late. We're already a minute late. We're oh, late. Good. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.